I just cooked these, so it's really, really hot. Mm, mm, mm. 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 And I'm cutting the avocado, right? Cutting the avocado, and I literally just like, hi everyone, welcome back. In case you don't know me, my name is Jody, and I make mukbang videos, and today I have Popeyes, and I also have spicy noodles, as you can see here. I basically have the combo um, four-piece bone-in fried chicken from Popeyes right over here. And I got it with cold slaw cold slaw i got it with coleslaw and then i also ordered a separate a separate large mashed potatoes and i have some spicy noodles so i'm just gonna dig right in it's i just cooked these so it's really really hot oh it's gonna be so spicy Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, spicy. I always forget to do a thumbnail. Alrighty, let's dig into this chicken. Wow, really good. Mm. Got the coleslaw. Really, really good. Really hot. <laughs> I purposely didn't get the spicy chicken because I knew I was going to eat it with the spicy noodles. Mmm. <sighs> delish, delish. So how's everybody doing? Um, right now it is actually pretty late. It is around, I think it's like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And I have been studying all day for my exam, and I wanted to film a video late at night. So it's kind of like a late night mukbang. Mmm. Really, really good. I like to eat all of the meat. Um, growing up, I ate a lot of KFC. And I remember when I would eat KFC, like, 
I didn't like eating like I would eat all the meat off of there but like the little hearts and stuff like that I didn't like that but I do eat chicken hearts oh wow so I got the four piece and they gave me all breasts I was kind of hoping that they would give me a leg but it's okay Mmm. Wow. So good. I used to always think that KFC was better, but honestly, Popeyes is actually really, really good. And I always thought KFC was better because that's what I was used to. But now that I've had Popeyes so many times, I think Popeyes is better than KFC's. The quality is just really good and it's really crunchy. Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a good Happy New Year. Um, we didn't really do much on New Year's Eve. We just stayed home. I like to put on the, like, like a, like a countdown. And usually on YouTube, you can find, like, a bunch of different kinds. So I just found, like, a, a New Year's countdown that was um, on Mountain Time. And it was live. And they usually play like some like New Year's Eve music, so it was fun. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we're in a different setup today. Usually I like to film in the living room, but uh, because tonight I was going to do it pretty late, I kind of wanted to be like in my own little space. It's actually nice filming in my room because my cats, they always, like, they're so needy. They always want to be around me. They make a lot of noise. They start meowing. And right now, they're in the living room, and they're doing pretty good. But yeah, man, Popeyes is so good. Like, do people still eat KFC? I always knew about KFC because that's what I live near. And Popeyes, I heard about Popeyes for the first time from the movie Little Nicky. Have you guys seen Little Nicky with Adam Sandler? That movie is so good. My favorite part in that entire movie is when he, when Little Nicky dies. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but if you guys want to watch it you guys should watch it it's on netflix 
um, if you guys have seen it, at the very, like, towards the end of the movie, he, like, dies, Lil Nicky dies, and then he goes to heaven, and then he meets his mom. His mom is Reese Weatherspoon, and she is so good. in the movie maybe they have some kind of deal with Popeyes but yeah they advertise Popeyes a lot in that movie <laughs> mm -mm. the first time I had Popeyes mashed potatoes I wasn't a huge fan because I was so used to KFC's but I really like it now. Popeye's chicken is just so crispy. It's really good. The coleslaw is so good too. The noodles towards the end gets really spicy because all the sauce is at the bottom. Um, updates with me. So I am, I think, on day 20 or day 19 of my study schedule. My study schedule is 45 days, and which means I have 25 days left. And then after I'm done studying, I'm going to take my board exam. So it's coming up. Um, the first two weeks were really, really brutal because I'm following like a study schedule. And it was just like they were making me do so much stuff every day. And now it's like a little bit less. So now I feel like... It's like I'm getting it. Um, I'm just like going through it, like doing all the questions and everything. I feel like I'm learning everything. I've already learned all this stuff because it's literally just like an exam that tests everything you learned the first two years of dental school. So it's like kind of like a review, but it's it's like this time it's like it's when it really counts. So um, but lately it's been pretty chill. It's been much better than the last two weeks. And I'm back in school, so in the mornings we have board prep, so I go to class, and it's just like, we don't get tested on it or anything like that, but we just go and like, we get like a lecture or just like a review of the topic, and then we have lunchtime, and then we're in clinic in the afternoon, and it's been really nice. <clears throat> but yeah, um, <clears throat> the fourth year dental students will be leaving, will be gone by April. So come April, like we're going to be in clinic full time. So it's pretty exciting and I'm really, really happy about that. So I'm trying to get all my exams out of the way by April because when April hits, I'm going to be in clinic full time morning and afternoon and I'm not going to have any time to study. So that's why I'm doing it, taking the exams before April. Whew. Oh yeah, also, hi, sorry, um, I had to change the battery again, but I literally cut my finger, so the other day, I woke up at 5am, because the night before, I had a class, and then I had clinic, and then I came home, and I studied, because I needed to study, and I was getting so frustrated, because I was getting all these questions wrong, so then I just went to bed. 
Um, and then I woke up at five and then I started studying and then I studied until like seven ish, I think. Yeah. Seven ish. And then I was packing my lunch. I was making my coffee. Um, I was making myself breakfast. I was getting so excited, but I was also really stressed out because I had just studied and I was just like thinking about a bunch of stuff. And then I used a butter knife, but it had like the, it was like a sharp butter knife and I'm cutting the avocado. Right. And I'm just like, I do, I just, I do things with a lot of force, like all the time. And I'm just like cutting the avocado and I literally just like cut my, like this is the butter knife. And I literally just like, like, let's say this is like, I was, I literally just went like to my finger. It was just like, and like, I was, oh, sorry, the bandaid moved. But anyways, I literally just like and I cut my finger and it was so dramatic like I was being very dramatic but there was blood and I was just like holding it and like there was blood just oozing out and I was like scared that I like cut an artery or something but there's no way because it's like a butter knife but I cut myself and I ran into the bedroom and I was like babe I cut myself start crying um because I was it was just like I was just like I don't have time for this because it's like when you have a cut finger you can't do a lot of stuff like I'm I usually just like when I do the dishes do laundry like I just like go right and now it's like I have this band-aid and I have to be careful because it kind of hurts when I move it so I was really annoyed but Chili was being really sweet and really nice and he like got up and like found like he like finished making my breakfast while I was like freaking out. He put the band-aid on for me. Luckily we had a band-aid because if we didn't, I would have super glued my wound together. Because it, it's a cut. But anyways, guys. Alright, I am full. I'm gonna take one more bite and then oh these spicy noodles are so good. I'm gonna tell you guys a secret. So usually when I eat these, I'm literally dying. Like can't talk, my face is wet, like super, super spicy. But today I made two packets of the spicy noodle, but I only use one sauce. So I think that's the perfect ratio. It's half. <laughs> I'm gonna take a couple bites of this and then Mmm. I love coleslaw. Alright guys, that's all for tonight. Thank you so much for being here. It's pretty late, so I think I'm just gonna like clean everything up and then um, hop on the couch and probably just watch something. And then, because I did take a nap today, so I'm not really tired, but uh, I'll probably just like watch something and then go to bed. And I have more studying to do the tomorrow. But, anyways, I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you guys next time.